Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, I'll tell you how can you quickly fill the blank cells in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have this data like date, supervisor, employee name and sales. I have to fill the dates in blank cells and supervisor name also. So what I have to do, I have to select this and press Ctrl D or copy and just paste it here. Then supervisor to we will paste here. So this is the manual method. If you have a long data, then how can you quickly fill this data? I'll tell you in this video. I'll tell you the four different tricks to fill the blanks. So the first trick is using filter. We can fill the data using the filter. So just put the filter here. For filling the date, first of all, I'll select only blanks here. Now here you can see the first blank is on A3. So I'll put equal to A2 and just press enter. Now go to the end and just select this range and press Ctrl D to fill down this formula. Now you can see our formula has been filled down from A1 to A11. You can see it is first gen. Now it is second gen. Now the third, fourth and similarly you can see here. And we also can fill down the supervisor also. Just select the blank here. So we are at cell V3. So we'll put the formula as equal to B2 and press enter and just fill down this formula. Now you can see here. So the correct supervisor name is available. The second method I'll tell you selecting the blank. So just select this range like this till the end. And once you have selected your entire range till here, press control G and now go to the special here we will select this blank and click on ok now only blank cells are selected now here type the formula equal to and we are at this cell then we will click on this and press control enter you can see now all the formula has been filled we just need to change the date format so select this date column press shift control and 3 so this date format is available here now you can see this is first gen second gen third gen now i'll tell you the trick number three so in the trick number three we can do it using formula we can take a support column here we can put the formula here if this value is equal to blank then it will take this value which is the e1 else it will take this value now here i will put the second formula if this value equal to blank then it will take f1 else it will take this one now fill down both the formulas change the date format shift control 3 you can see our actual data is available here. Now we can copy this data and paste a special value here. So we will get the actual data. So it was the trick number three. Now I'll tell you the trick number four. The trick number four is using BBA. There is very simple code to fill this down. So let me go to the developer tab, Visual Basic, or you can press Alt F11 also. Here I will insert a module. I'll go to the insert and module. Now here I'll create a subroutine. All right. So I'll take dim RNG as range and I'll put a loop for each RNG in selection and next. So here I'll put if rng dot value is equal to blank then rng dot fill down and if that's it all right friends so we can run this macro also 
first we will select our range let's say we have to fill down this range so just select the range go to the macros here select this workbook so we have created this fill down macro click on run you can see the data has been filled down automatically all right friends so that's how you can fill down your data so many times we have to use these tricks to format our data so that we can create our data in proper manner i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for the watching